Oh, what's good, YouTube? It's your way. Musa loves life, blogs, Musa, whatever you want to call me. Musa loves fitness, all them names. Um, it's been a while um, since we've been talking about fitness. So today I thought, you know what? Just come back from the gym, made my first meal. It's currently around two o'clock, breaking my fast. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about what's the plan because obviously we had a holiday, which I went to Gambia. You guys can see the vlogs before. You see that I ate a ton of food. Um, in those two weeks, I think I put on like four kilos, four kg. Wee! A lot. Um, and then we had Ramadan straight after that once I came back. So, and also gyms were closed and everything. So, there as well. I was losing weight steadily, but at the same time, I wasn't sleeping as much. I was up all night, all over the place. Um, and then we had Eid. Again, Eid vlog, a ton of food. Now, I'm back on my normal schedule. Sleep is in check, I'm back in the gym, and now I'm tracking my macros, food and all that stuff. As you can see, I'm eating noodles, so I'm not on keto no more. That stopped from when I went on holiday, that, that was cancelled. I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna run. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also said in previous videos when we was doing this cut that I wanna be able to manage my carbs. I don't wanna just, every time I think of diet, think, oh, keto, one that I can do well as I know carbs is gonna be a part of my life rest of my life because it's been a part of my life since I was born so to just cut it out whenever I want to lose weight that stuff is for me doesn't make sense it's rather just eat carbs but keep it at a, a steady have discipline with carbs basically that, that's my ultimate goal have more discipline with carbs um, track my macros um, but yeah that the plan is basically um, right now I'm like a hundred and three four kg I want to get down to like the around around, around 95 if I get to 95 I'll be happy if I get lower than that it's okay if I can I'm gonna I'm not gonna try and like go extreme to the point where I just like I'm suffering that's not the goal the goal is to get to a body weight where I've nice good and I maintain it all year round I don't want to keep fluctuating um, even though my weight doesn't fluctuate that great like crazy now because I know when to eat, to be the fasting and all that stuff. So now I'm, I'm always sticking around this hundred, around the hundred area. I'm always sticking around there. Um, so yeah, the plan is eat good um, and just check my check my macros, ten thousand steps daily. Um, I'm doing a four day on, one day off, like a split. So I hit shoulders and arms one day today. Hit chest and back. Tuesday in the morning, I hit legs evening, hit shoulders and arms Wednesday, I hit chest and back Thursday, legs in the type of situation. That's what that's my plan right now. Um I've done it before, I've done an even more extreme one. I did that same split six days in a row, one day off for many months. Um and I could do it. Again, I work at home, so I have a lot of free time. Not free time, but I, I, I control my schedule and also my calories are going to be very low considering the amount of movement that I do like this is very important for a lot of you guys that are looking to lose weight or you've been trying and you don't understand why you're not losing weight you've seen this person on Instagram Facebook YouTube whatever TikTok saying oh this is the amount of calories I'm eating blah blah blah, blah and they look fit um, every human being is different like you gotta know your body type what kind of body type you are are you Ectomorph, mesomorph, or endomorph, or are you those three? Or and your work schedule, like how much movement are you doing throughout the day, is very important. And once you know your body type, you know the amount of movement you do. That's where you can mess around with like how many calories, um, and also like obviously carbs, fat, protein. That is where you can mess around. I always try to aim my protein high and carbs and fats. You I mess around with those. Uh, my body tolerates fat better than carbs I know that already um, so whenever my carbs are low and I eat fat I tend to lose body 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 fat way faster if I keep my carbs high and fat low again this is all down to years of doing this and just understanding your body but yeah the key is understand what type of body type you have and how much movement you do in the day as you guys know like I said I work from home 
my movement is not that much. I don't move that much. If I, aside from going to the gym, which I just went, and then walking home, which is like 10,000 steps. It took me like an hour and a half to get home today from the gym. I am probably not going to leave my house for the rest of the day. It's 2 o'clock. Probably not going to leave my house for the rest of the, unless I go to the shops to get something cooked for dinner. That's about it. Or I might go to the gym in the evening, do a little bit of cardio, skipping, ab workout. But it's very rare because I could eat dinner and I would just be tired after. I'm like, you know what? I've already done my workout, done my 10,000 steps. I'm going to chill. So the calories that I consume daily is not going to be high. I'm going to start off as high as I can because it, that's, that's the goal. Isn't it? Like You want to eat as much food as you can and still lose weight. <laughs> that is the ultimate goal. So I've started mine around 2,700 calories. And I know I am a big guy, six foot three, weighing 237 pounds. But I need I need calories. You know, I need energy. So I don't want to go too crazy. I could easily start it at like 2,000, 200. But then again, is where am I gonna go after that? If I start at like 2,000 or 2,200, where am I going? The only thing that's gonna happen is me reducing more calories and to know that I'm gonna be eating like a thousand, thousand, two, thousand, three hundred. No, <laughs> that I will get into fights every day. <laughs> Can you imagine being hungry? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight everybody. Whoever talks to me is just gonna irritate me. I'm like, shut up, don't talk to me. You know, um, as my fiance says, she says, so you shouldn't diet because diet is not good for you. You're always in a mood whenever I can. She's like, she can tell when I'm on a diet. So that's why I, I don't want that no more. I wanna, you know, get to a place where I'm like, you know what? I like this weight. I like the way I look. I like the way I feel. I'm happy with this. Um, you know, fitness for me is more, more of a therapeutic thing than to try and look very crazy aesthetic and one of course i'm going to give it my all but it's not like my goal is not to compete or anything like that i, I used to have that kind of mentality like i want to compete one day and now it's just a point now nah, i don't i really don't i just want to feel good look good and love life <laughs> the end but anyways let me leave you guys i just thought let me just update you guys because you probably haven't heard anything about fitness recently so i thought let me just tell you guys what i want bang on Let me eat my food. Mm, broccoli. Thank you guys. Next one. Love life, love life, love life. Peace.